two zombie books in one month. But I thought you didn't like Zombies Day. Well, I certainly loved this one. This is Rock Zombie. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Musson, at Dave Musson on Instagram. This is a place where normally I talk to you about Stephen King, but in this spin-off series, I recommend great books to you. Yes, this is the book club where I bring to the table for your perusal books that I have read and really enjoyed that I think you guys will as well. So in each episode, I bring you one book, I give you the synopsis, I tell you a bit about the author, I give you my spoiler-free review, and I try and align it to a Stephen King book because, hey, this is a Stephen King channel after all, and it will give you that point of reference to help you decide if you want to go and check this one out for yourself. Although, obviously, the review will help you do that as well. Just a quick note before we get started, some plugs from me. I have a range of Stephen King themed band shirts that you could check out. I have my own collection of short stories, Once More Around the Sun, that you could read. It's multi-award winning now. Still feels strange saying that, but it is. I have a newsletter you can sign up to, one of those things. Obviously, you can subscribe to the channel, and I have a bunch of Stephen King content. So if you're new to the channel for the book club and you like The King of Horror, well, I've covered all his books, quite a lot of his movies, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So maybe go and have a look at that. So this time on the book club, we've got another brand new release from an indie horror author for you to go and read and then review on Amazon and Goodreads and all those other places and then rave about on your own social media channels. Yep, yeah, it's the three R's that I'm going to bang the drum every time we cover an indie horror author. So this, as I say, is a brand new release and, well, especially if you're British, you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. This is A.B. Finlayson's Rock Zombie. Let's get into it. Okay then, the synopsis of Rock Zombie. Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Kurt Cobain. Robbie Neville's big break on Stars in Their Eyes was supposed to launch him into rock stardom. Instead, it launched him into the afterlife. Rob is dead, but his body didn't get the memo. Now he's spending Saturday night trying to stop his reanimated corpse from kick-starting a zombie apocalypse, which is really hard to do when you're a ghost. With enough 90s nostalgia to make you dig out your old mixtapes, follow Rob, both of them, as he faces down hungry zombies, scared scallies, horny barmaids, and the ultimate question, can you still be a rock star when you're dead? And a little bit about the author... So this is taken from one of his profiles online, it's about A.B. Finlayson. He says, I was born and raised in a small town in the north of England and slowly moved further away. Now I live in Australia and that's probably far enough. I'm a teacher who loves to write, but I'd rather be a writer who loves to teach. When I'm not hanging around with my wife and kids or attempting to play guitar, I write stories I think people will enjoy reading. They're usually scary and a little bit silly. And he's not like, he has two books. Christmas themed books called Reindeer Games that I will definitely be covering on this channel, on this book club in December. And they're great. So stick around for that. Anyway, there's your background on Rock Zombie. Let's get into my spoiler free review, shall we? Okay, my God, what a brilliant book. A terrifying and hilarious romp through a Saturday night in the north of England in the late 90s. So this is the first thing I've read by this author that doesn't have any reindeer in it. And in this book, we are transported to Redcar in the north of England, which is where the author grew up. And our story starts with an evening of teenage fumbling, all quickly becomes the zombie apocalypse. So our main character, as you know from the synopsis, is Rob. He's just been on TV, a British TV show called Stars in Their Eyes, which is where, it's from the 90s, People, it was like a talent show, but they dressed you up like the person you were imitating. Anyway, he went on as Kurt Cobain. He's a minor celebrity in Red Car now. He tries some new drugs for the first time. And unfortunately for Rob, it makes him undead. And then unfortunately for the rest of the town, his corpse goes about infesting everyone and creating war zombies, as they tend to do. However, and here's the hook, Rob also returns as a ghost and he's watching everything, and he's very, very terribly sorry for what his reanimated corpse is doing to his town, and he's desperate to try and make amends in some way. So the questions are, will the ghost win, or will Rob's reanimated corpse let that power cord ring out for all eternity? 
And normally, as I've already said on this book club, I'm a hard pass on the zombie stuff. But I trusted something coming from this writer who I knew to be very witty as well as very sharp and a very good horror writer. And that mixed in with the 90s nostalgia and lots of loud guitar music convinced me to sign up to be one of his advanced readers for review purposes. And boy, boy did that decision pay off because I was rewarded with one of the best things and the most fun things I've read all year. Like just the pop culture references in here. Every single one had me nodding and mentally high-fiving the author and just, just fully engrossed in it. Like I haven't thought positive things about the band Cooler Shaker in about 25 years. But man, they were really cool once. And this book reminded me of them. What was really impressive with this story, apart from the great mixture of humour and horror, was the amount of questions it sent going through my head that I'd never considered before when it comes to zombie fiction. Questions such as, do zombies get full or do they just keep eating? So yeah, do zombies get full? What happens when a person who wears dentures becomes a zombie. And then, not a zombie question, but adjacent to it in this story, can ghosts throw up? So I mentioned this is a great mix of horror and humour, and I wasn't lying there. The horror here is pulpy, silly, and splatters impressively, while the humour is genuinely hilarious. And it's a very difficult line to tread, getting those two elements sparring off each other and working with each other and both of them are just zinging all the way through it and while a lot of this when it comes to the pop culture references is very british focused so much of this story is going to have universal appeal as well i mean a lot of you non-british readers will probably just gloss over or not even flinch at the mention of kangol trousers with poppers or the social hierarchies of chavs fit kids and goth girls but i defy anyone not to laugh at the scene involving a zombie on a little merry-go-round in a kid's playground it's just wonderful honestly within 10 percent of starting this book i knew i loved it and that was my feeling all the way to the end the writing here is really tight the palette of cultural references is really broad and this story is funny scary and surprisingly heartfelt throughout the book basically i loved it so when it comes to finding a king book to align rock zombie to i mean it's fairly easy it's cell but it's cell if cell was set in north yorkshire if cell were funny and if cell were good so to sum up clearly i love this book and for me and quite fittingly for a zombie book, giving this book a try is a no-brainer. It comes out on Halloween, 21st of October, in case you needed reminding, and you absolutely need to pick it up and give it a read. Oh, oh, one last question, actually. What exactly did happen with Rob's zombie body and that barmaid? Like, I really want to know. I'd also don't want to know. Thank you so much to the author, for an advanced copy of this book in exchange for a review. Like I say, I loved it. Okay, there we go. Another episode of the book club done. Honestly, that one, one of my favorite things I've read all year. And I would love for you to check it out when it drops on Halloween. And particularly with this being an indie release, if you do read it and you enjoy it, review it on Amazon and Goodreads and then rave about it on your social media channels. So some other things you can do look in the description and find links to my range of Stephen King themed band shirts pick up my own collection of short stories once more around the sun sorry my award winning collection of short stories ha. and you can sign up to my newsletter subscribe to this channel if you haven't already check out the Stephen King content check out the rest of the book club most of all give Rock Zombie a try I'll be back very soon with another book for you here on the book club